Josh Fairchild. I'm the drafting manager at Pinnacle Structures uh, right here in Cabot, Arkansas. We're a pre-engineered metal building manufacturer. We fabricate buildings all the way from the small backyard uh, barns and shops to huge schools and churches, uh, probably much like the building you're sitting in right now. And today I'm going to show you an example of how we use the Pythagorean theorem uh, in our day-to-day -day routines to determine uh, roof panel links on a metal building structure. Okay, in this example, I'm going to use a very simple building. Uh, let's call it 20 foot wide. This would be an in view of the building. And what we're going to try to determine is a roof panel length. Uh, metal buildings use roof panels instead of shingles. So the panel is going to sit right along the slope uh, from the peak to the eave. And to determine that, what that length is, we use Pythagorean theorem, which all of you scholars know is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We've got to find a first and then b and then c will be final and to get our triangle, our right triangle, this is the area we're going to be dealing with. So we'll call this a and this is b. We're going to determine those so that we can determine what c is. Uh, the easiest thing to determine is a and we know that because the building is 20 foot wide. The building's 20 foot wide, the, the peak is right at the center, uh, which would be half of the total width. So half of 20 is A, and that would be, A is going to equal uh, 10 feet. And we'll also elaborate and call it inches. Uh, it's easier in uh, engineering to uh, associate uh, in inches rather than feet. So super simple to get A, that's the easy part. B, we've got to do a little bit more thinking. Uh, and to determine B, we've got to understand roof pitch. Uh, roof pitch is the angle at which the roof rises over a 12 inch segment. So m many of you people have probably heard the term uh, roof pitch being uh, 1 to 12, 2 to 12, 3 to 12, and so on might not have known what that's referring to. What that's calling out is, in our example, we're going to use a 4 to 12 pitch, which means for every 12 foot segment, every 12, or excuse me, 12 inch segment, every 12 inch run, the roof rises 4 inches at that point. So to find B, we've got to find how much this roof rises over the 10 foot span. So to do that's very simple. Uh, if we know A is 10 feet, we know that we're rising 4 inches for every foot, 4 times 10, 40 inches. So B is going to be 40 inches, or 3 foot, 4 inches. So we found A, we found B. So now we're going to uh, use Pythagorean theorem to determine what C is. Uh, a squared with 120 inches, we're going to use inches again. A squared is going to be 14, 400, plus B squared, again we're going to stick with inches, is going to be, y'all see me looking at my cheat sheet down here. I'm not going to do this in my head, but I, that one's pretty easy. 1600. So, A squared plus B squared equals, okay, A squared plus B squared equals 16,000. So, going back to Pythagorean theorem, C squared, we're going to get the square root of 16,000 thousand is going to give us our length that we're looking for and uh, of course I'm brilliant and can do it in my head I didn't use a calculator earlier at all to find this out equals 126.5 inches which equates to 10 foot 6 inches so now we know that we can build and ship a 10 foot 6 long roof panel that will fit their building perfectly.
The building shown needs a new roof and the owners have decided to use metal roof panels. If the overall width of the building is 24 feet and it has a 412 roof pitch, will this 15 foot panel be long enough to use? If not, how much longer does the panel need to be? If yes, how much of this panel will be wasted?